Hello, and thank you for watching this Ag Forecast for South America, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. As we try to gauge the depth of the drought that is impacting the safrina crop production, we're going to start off first by looking at some satellite data. This is the GRACE-based uh, root zone soil moisture map. And GRACE is a satellite where that G in GRACE represents gr gravity. So this is a really cool way by which we measure soil moisture from satellite. What we're trying to do is put together multiple data sets to see if they tell a similar story. And that story has been around Brazil's safrina crop, which is largely grown in the area I've just circled here. Uh, and we can see that the root zone soil moisture values are extremely low. We've been comparing that to the CPC data. Now, this is a rain gauge product. And what we've noticed is very similar from southern Mato Grosso do Sol into Parana through Santa Catarina, which is here, and then down into Rio Grande do Sol, very dry. But Sao Paulo, Minas Gerais, even parts of Bahia have been dry as well. And there's been pockets of drier conditions in, in Mato Grosso. Now, where it's been wet has been down in Argentina. And you can see here from some of the rain gauge data how those frontal batteries sliding through there brought on a lot of late season precipitation. I want to add that to one other uh, bit of, of, of information here. And this is just a look specifically at the state of Paraná. Uh, which is the second largest Safrina corn producing state. And since the 6th of March through the 6th of May, or the 4th of May, excuse me, we've actually seen a deficit in total in Parana uh, upwards of around seven inches. So that means that during that time period, Parana has received roughly about 25% of its normal precipitation. And much of that was back in the month of March. So as we've gone through the month of April, as you can see here into the beginning of May, very limited moisture. And when it did rain, the amounts that were measured were less than 10th of an inch overall. Now we've been discussing uh, the progression of this front and I wanna show you where we got to yesterday. So this is some satellite data and this was sunset last night right there. So let me just take you backward through the day. And here we go again, from morning through midday and then as the sun was setting, you can see the position of the front right in through here. But remember, Mato Grosso do Sol, the southern border is there. This is the state of Parana, Santa Catarina, and then down here into Rio Grande do Sol. So what I'm noticing here is that even though we did get, it appears, some deeper convection in this area, it was pretty far to the south. And we can go and watch that. I'm gonna show you an animation here. And this is satellite dry precipitation over the last week. And, and you just see how dry things are. Now we're watching this area carefully. See the front advancing to the north? And as it gets into southern Paraná, it, it really faded out here. And we didn't measure much from satellite through early this morning. Now, when we examine that and we look out forward, remember that these first 10 hours in the forecast here, that included the precipitation that we saw skirt through last night. So as I play this forward, this is what the total precipitation appears to be from the European model going out through the next 10 days. And even though you see out here past about day eight or nine, some sort of system trying to come through, you notice that it, it kind of hits that wall of where the drought is. I mean, the extent of that, the drier conditions coming right in through here, and it just doesn't seem to be get, able to get past it. So Rio Grande do Sol, and that's not an area we have a large safrina crop. Santa Catarina, again, same thing. It's getting into Paraná, into Sao Paulo, and into Mato Grosso do Sol that we're concerned about. And through the whole of this time period, very little moisture coming in here into Mato Grosso as well. Now, just so you know what we're watching for here, I keep talking about this hard southern boundary uh, on the state here. Uh, the reason why I do that is because when you look uh, at satellite, I think I did this a couple weeks ago, but let's just do it again. We can zoom in here on the state of Paraná, and I want you to know that it's largely that corner of the state that produces so much of the safrina crop. As we kind of zoom in here, we, what you notice is that down farther to the south, a lot of this, I mean, I'll just keep zooming in here, there are some fields in between the, you know, in the valleys here, but a lot of this is all forest. Okay, so if we kind of zoom back out here, and I just want to make a point, the state of Colorado is about like that inside of Parna. That's how big of a region this is. So you've now seen that over the next week to 10 days, we're looking very dry and going out into week two, this is what the latest European ensemble looks like. And now that we're at the end of the monsoonal circulation, the crop is going to struggle to have moisture return to it as we move forward. And that's what the latest updates are from the European and kind of a, just a 
quick look at multiple data sets to understand the precipitation pattern. So we'll wrap it up here. Have a good weekend. We'll talk to you again on Tuesday or on Monday. Thank you.